Hello everybody, welcome to lesson 27, finding remainders using number lines. In this lesson, you will be able to divide with remainders using number lines. Can skip counting show that 14 divided by 3 is equal to 4 with a remainder of 2? Well, let's take a look. So, we're dividing by 3, so we're going to skip count by 3. So we're going to start with 3, 6, 9, 12. So when I skip count by 3 four times, I get to 12. Now to get to 14, I need to add 2 more, right? That'll get me to 14. So why does the count stop at 12? Well, because if we skip counted one more time, we'd get to 15, and so we'd be past our 14 mark, which we can't do. And how can the remainder be determined? So the remainder is, how many more do you have to add in order to get to our magic number of 14? Can skip counting show that 17 divided by 5 is equal to 3? So in this case, we're going to skip count by 5. Our goal is to get up to 17. So we got 5, 10, 15, and to get to 17, we have to add 2 more. So we counted once, twice, three times, and then we added 2 more to get up to 17, and that is our remainder. So 3 remainder 2 is our answer. So go ahead and try these exercises on your own when you are ready. Unpause the video and come back. So 15 divided by 4, so that's the number we're aiming for. Um, and we're going, to, we're going to skip count by 4. So we're, we've got 4, 8, 12, uh, and then the next one will be 16. That's too high, so we're not going to count that one. So we skip count it once, twice, three times, and then to get from 12 to 15, we have to add three more, right? And that'll get us to 15. So the answer would be three with a remainder of three as well. And to check our answer, we can take, um, I'm gonna multiply by that, so three times four, is equal to 12, and then we're going to add the remainder, so plus 3, and if that gets us back to the number that we started with, then that is the correct answer. For 13 divided by 2, we're going to skip count by 2, so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, if we went any more, we'd be over 13. So let's count how many times we counted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the answer is 6. And we have to add one more to get to 13. And that's our remainder. So 6, remainder 1. Uh, let's check our answer. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. 13. So that way we know the answer is correct. We could skip count using a number line. So we're going to skip count by fives. So we're going to stop before we get to 17. So there is one, whoops, too far. There's one, two, three. And if we went another five, we'd get to 20. So that is too high. So we skipped counted three times. And then to get to 17, we have to add one, two more, so plus two. So our answer should be three. Let's write it up here. Um, so this was 17 divided by five. Our answer should be three with a remainder of two. So in division, uh, we have a few different terms that are important to know. So the number we are dividing by, so the, the whole 
thing is called the dividend. Um, we're dividing into how many groups. Those groups are called divisors or divisors. And our quotient is our answer. So how many in each group? And of course we have our remainder. So if we look at an example here, 14 divided by five. So um, five is the, div the divisor, 14 is the dividend. So we're skip counting by fives. One, two, and I can't go anymore. So there's my answer of two. That is the quotient. And then I have to add one, two, three, four more. And that is my remainder. So where does each part appear? So the dividend is 14. The divisor is five. The quotient is two. That's the answer. And the remainder is four. So this time you're going to look at these number lines and you're going to create a division sentence or a division equation for each diagram. Okay? So pause the video, come back when you are ready. So we always start with the dividend, what the whole thing is out of. So we always look at the last number here. So we've got 11 divided by, we are skip counting by fours. And our answer was we skip counted once, twice, and then we had one, two, three as a remainder. So four fits into 11 two times with a remainder of three. For the next one, 11 is our dividend again. This time we are skip counting by fives, dividing by five. That is our divisor. And of course it fits once, twice, so two is our quotient and one remainder. And finally now we're div we've got a dividend of 13 divided by, we're skip counting by three, so three is our divisor. Three fits into 13 once, twice, three times, four times, so the quotient is four and we have a remainder of one. So try these. Uh, using these division equations to show on our number line. So 14, I'm going to circle it, dividing by 6, so I'm skip counting by 6's, so the answer is 2, 1, 2 is my remainder. We could see that answer up here. And now we've got 10 divided by 3, so 10 is the dividend. I'm skip counting by 3, so 1, 2, 3. And then I have to add one more. So there we go, 3 with a remainder of 1. So consider these statements. 27 divided by 2 is 13 with a remainder of 1. If we were to flip the quotient and the divisor around, and we said 27 divided by 13, that would be twice with also a remainder of 1. Here, 40 divided by 12 equals 3, remainder 4, so we flip it around, we get four, 40 divided by 3 is equal to 12 with a remainder of 4. We can check our answers. So if I do 13 times 2, I get 26 plus 1 equals 27, so that matches up. And down here, I would do um, 3 times 12, which is equal to 36, plus 4 is equal to 40. All right, that's it, everybody. Let's work on pages 83 to 84 in your jump math books.